We'd been married for 10 years. And when we came back, I came to Calgary and got settled here in Calgary, uh, that's when I realized that I was, was gay. In that era, you went to school, finished school, got married, had children. You know, so I just followed and sorted it. I uh, left home at 16 and I met my husband when I was 16, he was 17, and we dated for two years and got married when I was 18 and he was 19. I believe in being honest and straightforward, and I just told him, you know, this is what's, this is what's happening, this is, you know, and his response was, well, you're a good wife, you're a good mother, you're a good homemaker, and that's what we, we that's the most important thing is the home and the children. And I did say to him, you know, I'm telling you this, that I'm gay, but I'm not saying that I'm a, you're a better father than I am a mother, vice versa. I said, I have uh, no intentions of taking the children away from you. And I said, I definitely have no intentions of you taking them away from me. Because a uh, couple across the street, she came out to her husband and uh, he immediately had her committed uh, for six, I think she was six weeks uh, in the hospital. And then she came home under promising never ever to go that route again and then uh, a month or two later she did and he caught her and he took the children away from her, took them to go back to her, his parents' farm and she never saw her children again. And at that time my husband said to me, he said, oh Bernie, he's so damn stupid, he said, the children have no father, they have no mother, they have no home just because of his ego. He was an exceptional man. You know, it was to be 64 when I went home with my first girlfriend. Uh, you know, I went home every summer, took my kids, and uh, so uh, my mom didn't say anything. She didn't ask, but she did say, I know you have to have a private, I know you have a private life, but she said, try not to hurt your family. And as I said to a couple of the women who wanted me to leave, I said, you know, and I told right at the beginning, I said I had a relationship. I have a family, and I had those before you, and they are pri take priority. This is from the carousel. The grassroots uh, pretty well started in 1967. We didn't get in operation until 1968. There weren't very many places that gay people felt safe in, and that was why the club was needed. They needed a safe place where they could, where we, could, I shouldn't say they, where we could just go and relax and and have a good time. We were basically an after-hours illegal bottle club because we had no liquor license. So people would bring their bottles down and when you sit under the table, their bottles were under the table. Once I gave it a little bit of thought and got over the shock, I was really proud and honored to be asked, uh, partly for my own ego. and. Part, mainly because of the people that I worked with initially with Club Carousel back in the 60s. And uh, they have all passed, the other four founding directors have passed away, and I'm the only survivor. In hindsight, it's, it's kind of awesome to me too, but it was just, so, I just lived my life one day at a time. <laughs>